Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a very beautiful birthday poster inside of Canva. So if you're ready, open Canva and let's start designing. If you're a guy, come closer. I know there's this lady you really, really, really admire and you'd always want her to feel special on her birthday. So this design is actually going to help you to make her feel special on her birthday. So I'm going to be teaching you every single thing you need to know on how to make this beautiful poster inside of Canva. So make sure to stick to the end of this video to learn every single thing you need to know about this. Let's dive straight into Canva. Okay, so this is the whole design we are going to be making and I will just click on add a page. Okay, and this is actually what we are going to be working with first thing is come to photos and search for sunflower okay you would see so many options of your choice and um, we are first of all going to work on the background so i'll just choose this image over here make you know the image very big okay or you can simply right click search image as background double click and um you know this is what i want all right so you can also customize image according to your preference okay so now the next thing i'm going to do is to press r on my keyboard for a shape then i would increase the size of the shape you know to something like this then come to position okay center and middle okay so that's all you have to do then you just have to choose transparency and reduce the transparency slightly to something like this i understand okay so now that we have this there are some few things we are actually going to do select any of these sunflowers you know that has no background okay then you know you can just arrange them anyhow you want or not anyhow <laughs> arrange them in a creative way because i'm sure if i say arrange them anyhow some of you are just going to select as many as you can and just you know it's just going to be a whole shambles on your design so it should be minimal very minimal keep that in mind okay so yes and um i'll select maybe this one bring it down here and um you know you can also adjust the sizes of it you know duplicate some of them by using ctrl d you know just be creative in your own style so with this one over here you know i have it selected so come to edit image in edit image we are just going to go into adjust and increase the blurriness just to make it blur a little bit you know because you are trying to apply some camera effect and you know i think this is one of the things canva should pay attention to you know like this is a whole bug you know happening right now but that's just by the way so i select the next one and i should just increase it okay the blurriness is what we are just applying to all of this okay so maybe let me just let this fill all of this and um, it should be here some you know something creative like this then what we are going to do is to go into element in element you know you just have to search for any beautiful lady you want to use so if it's the pretty lady you have in mind use her because you know this is the time for you to make her feel special you know yeah <laughs> okay so i will just go into my recently used um you know images and i'll just search for this pretty lady i have over here okay then i'll come to edit image and in edit image still going to use the bg remover so i click on it just to allow canva to do its thing so while canva is removing the background of my image i want to use this opportunity to tell you about canva pro so just in case you're looking at doing more inside of canva for example removing your background images resizing your canva designs easily with a click publishing directly from canva to any social media platforms adding multiple brand kits having a lot of animation options then i believe canva pro is the best option for you so because i want you to be able to use this i have a link in the description box below that will help you to use canva pro for free you know so try it out and start using canva pro today the other thing i would love for you to know is i have created 20 easy to edit templates you can actually use in canva and the link to those templates can be found in the description box below so i want you to also be able to try it and you know start using it today let's dive into canva and let's continue with our design okay so you can see the lady is already looking very beautiful i'm going to cut all of this part out um yeah because uh you know yeah i'm not going to say anything much and uh <laughs> i'll increase the size of this lady but the thing is we can actually make this image look very interesting you understand so i'll first of all click on apply and canva hasn't fully saved our design yet so we just have to allow canva to save the design before we continue okay so our design is saved now so click on the image come to edit image because i believe we can actually make this image look a lot better so i would reduce the brightness of this image and i would increase the contrast okay to separate the blacks from the white and the saturation to boost the colors just a little bit 
and i would increase no i actually decrease the blurriness just to make uh image a whole lot you know sharper and um if i'm to zoom out you know you should see the difference you know i think it looks better you know this way or oh, let me just reduce this slightly and the contrast also slightly yeah so i believe this is something fine we can um work with okay now the next thing i'm going to do is with this um element we have behind which is the sunflowers i'll duplicate them okay so i will select them behind duplicate using ctrl d increase the size you know and maybe position this here all right then i can duplicate it again you know and i can maybe make this one bigger okay so depending on how you want your design to look you know just feel free and express yourself through your design okay because it's your special person not mine okay so now that we've done this what we also want to do is i would go into my uploads but in this case i want you to go to elements.theafricangigs.com and search for light because we are actually going to use this element to improve the looks of our design and there are so many interesting things we are going to do with this particular element okay so this is the light element i have over here in my upload so i just select it and i will just increase the size okay position it somewhere here first of all then come to edit image in edit image all we have to do is to search for dual tone so i just select dual tone and and select the amber you know option we have over here so canvas should apply the dual tone effect on your you know on your element and you should have something like this okay so i would increase the size so you can see what we are actually doing we are just simply trying to give our design a certain interesting vibe okay okay so then i'll just crop you know everything from here okay so that it can be looking interesting then i'll duplicate it and when i duplicate it all i'm just going to do is to reset the whole thing or basically i can just delete this and just re-add it over here okay then come back to edit image and choose dual tone okay then select any of the options okay come to highlight and you know choose white come to shadows and also choose white okay so these are just white lights we are trying to um add to our design make it big and position it you know somewhere here okay then send the light behind your flower okay then duplicate it and we're also going to do the same over here so we can actually increase it over here okay because we want the design to look glorious and that's the main um reason why we are doing all of this okay so yeah i would also do this and i would duplicate it again position it here reduce the size actually okay so i reduce the size and um, everything should be looking interesting all right then i'll just you know send it behind you know this lady's head over here so that she can be looking so glorious in this design and i believe yes she is really looking glorious okay so um i'm thinking of increasing it a little bit okay just so that she can pop out more okay so yes i think i love the way all of this is looking so to select element behind just press and hold control you know while you keep clicking then i i'm sure you'll be fine with all of that okay so now that we've done all of this we want to add some textures into our design so come to elements and just choose yellow texture there are so many textures you'll find but this is the one i want you to add make sure you find this particular one okay so we would you know crop it a little bit and um, just make it look interesting all right and make sure it's not covering the entire um, canvas of your design else it's going to replace your background image okay so now come to transparency and reduce the transparency of this okay so this is actually interesting so maybe someone like 26 should be fine then i would you know just send the whole texture to the back then i'll come to edit image in edit image come to adjust in adjust we are just going to decrease the blurriness just to make this texture more textures <laughs> okay so now that you have done that the next thing we have to do is to add our text so press t on your keyboard to add your text and we'll just increase the size come to your canvas sans and i'll choose the dm serif display okay so once you choose it you can just say anything you want to say so i'll just say birthday okay it looks like i don't know how to spell birthday anymore so i'll increase the size of this one over here position this here and i'll duplicate it and you know just drop it here and i can just see design okay but you can simply say anything at all you want to say okay so yes then i will duplicate this move it to the top you know and then i'll just change the text to euphora script okay so then i can use this to say happy all right okay so now what we are just going to do is we are just going to position this very nicely 
in uh design but you can see because it's like white on white it's very difficult to read so select your text come to effect in effect click on shadow okay and i'm just going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see what we are doing first thing is change the color to black or black depending on where you're from with the offset reduce the offset okay to somewhere like 25 the blurriness you know should be slight the transparency should be a bit more you know so that we can separate um you know the text from the white background okay then click on the second one apply the same thing to it okay change the colors and do all the edits i showed you in the first one so i'll just speed up the whole process of this one all right so now that we've done all of this i would you know just select this one over here okay and bring it to the front and i'll drop it down a little bit okay select all of it reduce the size a bit you know then send them behind okay so what i'm simply going to do is to rearrange everything over here so this big one over here okay should go behind the light should also go behind okay so that we can have you know something like this i believe this design you know is just looking so good it's actually looking so beautiful to me so you can see what we have been able to create and i believe yes, this is something simple we have been able to make inside of canva i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you've learned so much from this video don't forget that if you're looking for more canva tutorials there are two things i'll need you to do the first thing is to like this video if you enjoyed it the second thing is to smash the subscribe button if you are new and maybe the last thing is to check my channel for more canva tutorials the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity i should see you in my next video